Hi, I'm Donald Lane. Today we're heading to Destin, Florida, but we're stopping on the way at Joe Patty Seafood Company, one of the largest seafood markets in the country and always one of my stops on the way to Destin. Now that's what you call the dolphin of the sea. There's some grouper filet. That grouper was swimming yesterday. Swimming. Yeah, you can tell the freshness of the fish by this right here, the color of that red. Down the middle, the first thing you're going to notice when a fish starts to age is these will turn brown. Yeah, this is local Pensacola Bay Shrimp, 3640, caught every night, 2125, a little bit bigger. Brown shrimp, right? Brown shrimp, correct. Everybody can catch that shrimp. And then, here's a white shrimp. You have to outthink that fellow right there to catch it. You got to know where to go if the tide's right, got the right winds. See the green on the tail? If you catch brown shrimp, see they don't have that green on the tail, they got the dark brown. Now, I have a guy that gets those from my restaurants every day. Where you got your place? New Orleans. Oh yeah, well New Orleans. These here were caught in Mobile Bay. Beautiful shrimp. I love to be on the sea. When I was 12 years old, my dad was always on the exploring edge. He wanted to do something that would promote seafood. Pretty snapper. This is what we're going fishing for tomorrow. All right, well, this come from the east of us here off of Destin. That's exactly where we're going. There she is, she's got it right there. Who grades the tunas? They bring it in already graded for me. This is number one tuna. Number one. When you see she went that close to the bone, she does Joe Patton's justice. Such a beautiful job in uh, filleting that fish. You want to get with Alice and she'll take yeah, it to maybe her? she can show me how to cut some sushi. I don't know nothing about it. Now, this is for rolls, right? So what's next? You'll cut this first piece off, and then it'll be mm -hmm. kind of flat. You cut it, you cut them in just like one ounce slices like that. That'll be like for the nigiri. Like this way? Yes, sir. I'm learning the proper sushi technique. When I do a sushi roll, I'm pretty generous. I do chunks. Oh, yeah, there you go. Now you're talking. And I um, put that in the roll. You have to have a bite of tuna in every bite. Also, with having cucumber beyond the seaweed, such a pretty piece on the ends. That's great. That sushi bar next to a, a seafood market. I mean, <laughs> you know it's fresh, right? right? Seafood is the best diet a person can have. You're going to go eat some oysters, right? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Enjoy some of those oysters. We yes. got the head hunt, you here, know how to open them. <laughs> angles up and cut across. Nice. Good oyster. A little farther down the road in Destin, I met up with my friends Nick and Wayne for a little Florida deep sea fishing. Nice fish. Taking the fillets off, leaving some of the scales on. One of my favorite ways to cook it. We're also going to fillet some and do a little pan fry. Maria's going to do a salt baked fish. I'm really looking forward to. Our fishing trip was a success. Can't wait to cook these fish tonight along with the watermelon and peaches we picked up from the Burr's Market. Are you going to debone everything from this side? Right. What you want to do is start with so you can get as much skin off God, and as much fantastic. salt off. And one last thing before dinner, my daughter and I put together a quick and easy dessert. Watch this, come here. These are the figs and the blueberries from the Beerus Market. I'm just kind of cooking them down with a little bit of sugar. So we want to thicken this up so that we can put it in the pie shell. So we put this slurry in there. It's just a little cornstarch and water. And when it gets hot, it should thicken the sauce up. Look at that. Make it even. Use the back of the spoon. 10 minutes in the oven, if that, maybe five. Then we'll slice some peaches and put it all on top, raw, okay? Cheers. Cheers. Seafood from Joe Patty's, produced from Burr's Farm Market, and the snapper we caught today. It's the perfect dinner.